Sea turtles migrate through the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, usually alone and without the benefit of significant visual landmarks. To navigate, they rely on a biological system calibrated to work in concert with an invisible shield that surrounds the Earth. Our planet is constantly bombarded by high-energy particles emitted from the sun. We are protected from this deadly barrage by a magnetic field that extends more than 40,000 miles into space. This phenomenon has been compared to an enormous bar magnet with field lines that flow upward from the southern hemisphere and then wrap around the Earth. Each line intersects a different point on the Earth's surface at a specific angle and intensity. They are strongest at the poles and weakest at the equator. Together, they create a distinct pattern that can be charted as coordinates for the latitude and longitude of any location on the planet. From the moment they hatch, we think that they may be imprinting on magnetic fields. They're able to detect both intensity as well as the angle of inclination for the potential to imprint on that particular nesting beach and a very specific latitude and longitude. Once a turtle imprints the geomagnetic coordinates of its birthplace, it begins a journey that will lead to a feeding ground it will use throughout the rest of its life. For a turtle born in Costa Rica, for example, this home range could be a coral reef in the Dominican Republic more than a thousand miles away. As a hatchling swims and drifts through the Caribbean, it continues to imprint a series of coordinates on a magnetic map inherited at birth and stored within its brain. Once the turtles enter the water, they are detecting magnetic fields as they're drifting. So they're obviously picking up waypoints along their drifting existence over those first two years or so. And it's those waypoints that essentially they're going to use in a reverse manner when they leave the foraging grounds 15, 18, 25 years later to then make their way back essentially to the nesting beach. The young turtle's development from hatchling into juvenile includes an increasing reliance on an array of internal compasses embedded in its head. Microscopic cells enriched with crystals of magnetite react to the Earth's magnetic field by aligning north. It's a little tiny magnet. And typically what magnetite will do is it will align like the needle of a compass. It tells them what their heading is and it tells them something about where they are at that moment. So they need to be able to know what direction they're moving, but they also need to be able to know where they are at any point in that journey. 